What's up guys? It's Shauna aka Mrs. Wealthy Wallet coming to you for another week. Guys, the shirt today is brought to you by OK To Be Apparel, I believe. Yeah, OK To Be Apparel and it's Mind Your Own Vision. Alright, Mind Your Own Vision. Alright, we got all that. Today, let's talk about paying off debt. Oh yeah, that is so much fun. Every week we're going to talk about it, we're going to talk about it. Paying off debt, not accruing interest, let's do this. What's up guys, it's Shana aka Mrs. Wealthy Wallet coming to you for another week. Like I said guys, we are talking about paying off debt. So right now I am checking into my YNAB to find out what my balances are. I just got finished paying off my husband's card. We had $431 left on it, so I went ahead and deployed it, paid it off, we're done with it. So now, I told you all that I'm going into savings mode instead of payoff mode. So I'm going to save the money that I need to pay off my card. Now my card is $3,692.16, of which I have $2,603.86 saved currently. So what's going to happen is, by August 21st, I should have the full $3,692.18 in the savings account ready for when I want to pay off this card. This card is at 0% until November of this year and then the other part of it expires in 2021. So I got 2,000, I think it's about 2,700 of it is, it's less than 2,700. It's like 2,000 and some change of it is expiring this year with the 0% interest rate and then the other half expires in 2020. I've told you all before and I'm going to tell you again, the reason why I'm holding on to this money is because there's some uncertainty right now in the economy and I just want to hold on to cash just in case. I'm going to continue to make the minimum payments. Once again, this is at 0% interest, which means no interest accrues. So therefore, the balance stays stable as long as you are able to make your minimum payments. So I'm going to continue to make those payments and continue um, to save up for this payoff. Which means the payoff's actually going to be a little less, huh? Duh. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'll have it just so once I feel a little bit more comfortable where we're going and everything as far as um, the economy, the um, financial system, like everything, make sure everything is like okay and running smooth, then I'll have the money to go ahead and deploy. So after that, I have my husband's payoff, which is $5,012.89. But the difference is also coming from our joint checking account until I get to that $5,000 balance, $5,012.89. Now, that balance should be achieved around October. And I think it's about the 16th or the 22nd. Um, recent calculation says October 16th. Former calculation said October 22nd, so I'm going to go with the recent ones, and by October 16th, I should have that amount. But once again, holding on to it, the real balance, the real 0% balance transfer fee does not expire until 2021 on that card as well. So we're looking at minimum payments of around $59 for one card and I want to say 40 for the other one let me check don't let me lie to you hold on <laughs> so the minimum balance payment on my husband's card is $59 and the minimum balance payment for my card is $37 so we will be making the $37 slash the $59 payment every month until it's paid off so, guys what am I doing after I pay these credit cards off as you all know I still have the cars his car, my car, his car is around 14,000, mine's around 17, I want to say. Um, right now, once again, going into YNAB, pulling it up. Yeah, my car is around 17,4, mine's well say 17,5, and his is at 14,3. These are my goals for 2021. Now, I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. I take breaks sometimes in between paying off debt because looking at the huge number is very daunting to me. I get very tired and I get very discouraged. My husband will tell you I will come to him boohoo crying because I feel like I'm not accomplishing anything even though we are constantly, you know, making these strides forward. So I've had to realize that I have to take a step back and breathe and then move forward. Once I get these payoffs, I'm going to go ahead and save up to change out our appliances. 
Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because our dishwasher is not working properly. Our oven is original to the house and our house was built the year I graduated from high school. So, um, yeah, let's see. Y'all, y'all know I'm 40, so it was built in 1997. So, <laughs> yeah, so our, our, um, oven and our refrigerator and our, um, dishwasher are very old so i just want to save up some money for that as well as just stack and keep stacking for the emergency fund period so gonna keep building for that i feel like by the time we get to the end of the year we should be good on cash knock on wood gremlins we should be good on cash and we should be good to go ahead and knock everything out um as long as we're looking good for the future so Secondly, um, my husband, if his if his job is looking good, which I, I, I'm crossing my fingers and hoping it is, then I'm going to switch over and allow him to be the person who takes over our insurance. Because we have the same insurance regardless of who, which company we're with. It's still Blue Cross. And so his is cheaper because his is located up north, whereas mine is located down here in the south. And for some reason, northern insurance is cheaper than southern insurance. Don't know why but whatever we're going to go with his instead which is going to increase the amount of money that i will be bringing in um and slightly decrease the amount of money that he has um coming out of his, well out of his check so another one of the changes i want to make is provided that um everything is moving along we're sailing smooth sailing the whole nine i want to make changes to the 401k as well as make sure that we start saving up the money for the roth I don't want to be how we are in society right now where we're already behind the starting line and we're trying to catch up to a race that's already being run. So since the race has already started, I want to make sure that I get as much money as I can into my investments and things like that. So when time comes for me to retire, I will have sufficient money to retire. Same thing for my husband. I want to make sure that he has money in his retirement account, that I continue to grow his investments, so on and so forth. I do allocate money for both of our um, investments. I do place them into the individual investments. Even though I am not a genius, I just keep it simple, keep it plain, and just invest, invest according to what the experts say. So did pretty well last year on mine and i need to change up my husband's because he switched over retirements that's what i want to do that's what i'm working on hopefully by october he and i will have a good idea of where our companies are going where the economy is going so on and so forth and i can go ahead and just drop all that money pay those off and just coast through the rest of the end of the year with the money that we have and continue to grow invest make changes in our health plans and all that stuff and just cruise <laughs> all right guys so what's going on with you all what is your plan through the end of the year do you all are you all even looking that far forward are you looking thinking about your health plans benefits changes you can make think about investments you can take advantage of with your company please make sure you're taking at least that match come on free money are you at least taking advantage of the free match the free money that the company is uh giving to you just want to know comment down below like comment and subscribe until next time guys remember the best type of wallet to have is always going to be a wealthy one peace